You've yeah. also adopted an innovative position, have you not, in relation to crime and punishment. Crime and punishment, it, 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 yeah. it's a problem for all races, not just the Aboriginal race, it seems to strike them particularly, but you have innovative ideas in relation yeah. to what to do to reform people, have you not? Well, yeah, I mean, you've, you've been fairly generous in saying, as though I'd come up with it or my father come up with our party, it, you know, I guess it's just listening to people on the ground, David, but um, we've been saying, and it was Dad that brought forward the original concept and he said this was natural law that the Aboriginals had L-O-R-E, was, was banished from the tribe and and if they played up. And um, so we applied that in the modern context and said, well, kids at the moment in Queensland, um, kids play up, they get sent to a youth detention centre and um, we've got spiralling youth crime problems just absolutely out of control, blowing all the metrics that we've ever kept of any of these records of um, youth crime, and um, and it's just progressively getting worse. And uh, the youth, the only punishment they get is going to Cleveland Bay Detention Centre, these, youth, these prescribed youth detention centres in Queensland, and half the kids quite literally say, I want to go to Cleveland. That's a better lifestyle for me than here. So there's no consequence for these kids. What we've... Pro um, you know, the, the main thing, tool we've said you need to deal with these kids and use crime is send them out or send them to remote areas and uh, and break them up, break up those social groups. So, you know, you don't have 150 of the worst kids in Queensland in one spot. You uh, break them up to 10 or 20 centres in remote areas. And, um, and that's where I've seen with my own eyes when you can do that, you, the kids become a bit more respondent to being, you know, um, influenced or taught skills and... Um, and get into the work and, you know, it's all, I mean, the irony of it is it's seen as being tough on crime is, you know, send the kids out bush to these remote areas, but it's actually the most compassionate thing you can do them because the only chance you've ever got to turn those kids' lives around is getting them out of the environment they're in. I live in Mount Isa, you know, get them out of Mount Isa, get them out to a remote area away from the bad influences of their family and their household. And, um, and that's the best way of turning their life around. So we've been pushing that now for five years. I know the government thinks it's a good idea, but they're, um, you know, they're never brave enough to adopt ideas that occur outside of their departments or their, their own political party. So um, that's, yeah, that's one of the, the big things we've been pushing in Queensland to probably our biggest issue now, which is youth crime. And uh, I'm speaking to you from a state which was started as a colony, as a penal colony, in one of the biggest penal reform successes that the world has ever seen. That is the, the British decision to transport their criminals who would otherwise have been executed uh, yeah. to transport them to Australia. And that worked out as a yeah. tremendous success. And uh, yours, is a, yours is not as harsh as the, what was proposed at that time, what worked at that time, but sending yeah, people yeah. where they will reform. That's the important thing. It's not just sending them to some... A teenage centre where they want to go, it's sending them where they will learn the important things about life. 